I, uh, this is a second example, second lesson, third back of the kinematics. Uh, page seven it is for me, but who knows for you. So an object leaves s equals zero, t equals zero. So I know I've got some c values there. I'm going to travel in the, in the positive direction. It then returns to s at t is one. Given the object's acceleration, find the maximum displacement. Okay. Right then, let's have a look. Um, so the maximum displacement will be when v is zero. So let's have let's find v first. So v is the integral of a dt. So v is the integral of six t minus four dt. So it becomes, what's it going to be? 3t squared minus 4t plus c. Now what have I got then? Have I got any velocities for this bit? Um, ooh, do you know what? Have a look. Oh, this is sneaky. There's no information about the velocity. But I have got two bits of info about the displacement. Oh, that's shocking. I was just going to sub a v number in. So there's no info about velocity, just two lots for s. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to call, it's really sneaky this, I'm going to call this c1, I'm going to integrate and get the s, and I'll have two constants, and then with my two constants I've got two sets of information to find it. Uh, right, so that would be the integral of my velocity dt. So it's the integral of 3t squared minus 4t plus c1. I don't like doing this, c1. There you go. Give me a little bit more. So s will be t cubed minus 2t squared plus c1t plus c2. Now here's my issue. I know that if s is 0, t is 0, so 0 is equal to 0 cubed minus 2 lots of 0 squared plus c1 lots of 0 plus c2. So that's quite nice, it gives me c2 is 0. And then, so that's nice, that gives me, so now I'm down to s is t cubed minus 2 t squared. What a funny looking question. So c2 is 0, so that's c1 times t. So now I'm going to use the fact that s is 0 and t is 1. So 0 is 1 cubed minus 2 lots of 1 squared plus c1 lots of 1. So I've got 1 minus 2, got minus 1, plus c, 1 is c. So this is c1, this is it. So that must mean then that s is t cubed minus 2t squared plus t. So in that case then, well I worked out my c1, my c1 was 1 wasn't it? So knowing that c1 is 1, I'm going to use the fact that my max displacement is when v is 0, and that's using c1 as 1. So my velocity is 3t squared um, minus 4t plus 1. That's equal to 0 there. So that gives me t, what does it give me? It gives me t is a third, or t is 1. Right, now then. I know, because it was a cubic, and the general shape of a cubic is like that, the max must be the first value. So that must mean then that my max displacement, but what I could do is just sub the t is a third and the t is one in, and see what I get out for it, the t is a third. So what I would do, what I should really do, is check my s equals for both numbers. So for t is a third, it gives me an s value 
of, uh, so using that equation there, it gives me a value of 0.148 meters there. There we go. So because my because it was a cubic, my maximum displacement would happen at the first t value. I think there's one for you, and I think there's one more example, and then that's it. Hang on. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's one for you. Have a look at that, see if you can sort that one out in your head. Um, if you can, oh, I can't see it. We can sort it out in class. It's quite a strange one, to be fair, this question. But there you go, that's what there you get. Right. Uh, we've got five minutes left before the end of dinner, so I don't think we've got time for training. So I'll leave that for now. Okay, see you later.